so Mike, one of the best practices that you've mentioned is uh, getting youth involved in, in the YACs uh, to be a part of uh, fund development, basically raise money. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's interesting to us because we've never included that as a part of, of either our student philanthropy council or our, or our youth philanthropy councils. Um, so um, what does that usually look like and, and why do you think that that's so important to the program? This is one of my favorite parts of the program, actually, is, is, the, is the fund development. Um, and, and part of these why is my favorite part is it's one of the most challenging. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, the kind of the three core competencies, volunteerism, you know, you know, that's society's kind of getting that one. Grant making, I think we got a good handle on grant making mm -hmm. in Michigan. I think we got a good system going, a good model going. But the fund development one is an interesting one, especially for young people. Um, one of the reasons I think that it made it into this uh, this category of core competencies for the for the YACs because they could have kind of let it go. I mean, they mm -hmm. these YACs have endowments um, that where their uh, dollars come from that they give out as grants, so they could let it go. But I think they recognized early on that a huge part of philanthropy is you know raising mm -hmm. money um, and being able to bring in dollars to support your cause and the fact that you want to grow your endowment. I mean, the mm -hmm. bigger endowment you have, the more dollars you can grant out to the yeah. future. So. Um, we kind of divide fund development into two pieces, um, and, and, I, and I'm going to keep saying fund development because mm -hmm. we actually uh, very strategically use fund development as a phrase mm -hmm. in place of fundraising, mm -hmm. and I'll get to that in a second. Um, but we kind of divide into two pieces. One is the education piece, and the second is actually the action piece. So the education piece for us is this educating about the difference between fund development and fundraising. Mm -hmm. And for us, it's, I mean, part of it's semantics, but part of it is the concepts that young people in... Um, are very familiar with fundraising activities. Pie sales, bake mm -hmm. sales, car washes, mm -hmm. coupon books, magazine sales, all those kinds of things. Because they raise money for band, for mission trips, mm -hmm. for sports, for new uniforms, all these kinds of things. So they're very familiar with that. I mean, we, we've gotten to a culture where we use young people to fundraise for school mm -hmm. activities and things very, very frequently. Um, and, and they and they do a good job of it. But those are those are kind of fundraising activities where you're selling a product. I mean, you're getting there's getting a kickback, but there's a, there's mm -hmm. a selling a product, and you're selling it for a very tangible purpose. I am going to go on a mm -hmm. mission trip, or mm -hmm. we are going to buy a new tuba, or mm -hmm. new trumpets, or whatever. It's a very tangible thing. You're saying, here is what you're going to, you're going to get a product from me, I mean, mm -hmm. you're buying a, a, a pie from me, we're getting some money, and we're going to buy this. That's very different than this idea of fund development. And fund development typically comes in, um, when you look at society, it comes in two major areas. One is, is nonprofits. Um, and the second is kind of universities or colleges. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a real, obviously you hear about development, you know, mm -hmm. big time with those um, institutions. And so what they do with the development, though, is they're not selling stuff. I mean, they're not going and saying, mm -hmm. here, we're, we're going to wash your car if you give us a $10 <laughs> donation, mm -hmm. right? I mean, they're trying to work with donors and say, look, here are the services that we provide to the community, to young people, to whoever. Are you willing to support this because you believe in the cause? Mm -hmm. And the support comes in the, for, in the form of a donation, mm -hmm. where they're giving money away, not getting anything else in return themselves, and not always necessarily knowing it's going to go to buy some infrastructure. Sometimes mm -hmm. it is. Sometimes it's going to support a building or whatever else. But it's just it's it's giving money and not really getting anything in return. And so that fund development piece is very foreign mm -hmm. to young people. Fundraising, mm -hmm. yes, they get that. Fund development, no, because they haven't been engaged in that. And many people, not just young people, if you look across society, probably 95% of society has never been engaged in fund development mm -hmm. and, and maybe never will be. But for individuals, when you talk about the nonprofit sector and philanthropy, if they're going to head into that field, mm -hmm. they're going to have to do yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of one of those things where you could let them learn over time, but why not teach them when they're young mm -hmm. so they understand the process and they understand how to do it. So, so the education piece for us is kind of the different, is educating about the difference between fundraising and fund development, and then about educating with the fund development process. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Um, and, and we kind of have a, not a curriculum, but you know, kind of a basis to say, you know, um, with fund development, you're, you're building a relationship, you know, you're, you're identifying donors, you're building a relationship with them. This does not happen overnight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you don't just walk in and say, hi, I'm from the Community Foundation Youth Advisory Council. Will you give us $5,000? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it doesn't right. happen that way. Yeah. You build a relationship over time. It takes some time. Um, you know, maybe annual gifts happen, but there's a larger mm -hmm. gift coming in the future, but it takes a relationship. you got to maintain those relationships with donors. And then eventually you have to make an ask. Um, and you actually do have to go mm -hmm. in and ask someone for money. And that's mm -hmm. hard. I mean, no matter if you're young, old, experienced, or new at this, asking people for money is 
hard. Mm -hmm. And so we try to teach them about that. We try to teach them about the process and teach them. And community foundations are good at this. Community foundations do development work. So this mm -hmm. is another one of those cool things about being affiliated with a community foundation is that since they do development work, they can help teach young people mm -hmm. development because they already do it. They model it for them. And they can engage them. I remember when I was on uh, my yak uh, from the Holland Zealand Community Foundation, um, I was paired with a board member and I went on fund, de I went on fund development calls. Mm -hmm. So the board member and I went, mm -hmm. and we went to a local, a couple of local businesses and a couple of local individuals. Mm -hmm. And over a three-year period, um, I was he was kind of my mentor. I was the board member for those three years, and I visited with those same donors for three mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. Talk about eye-opening! Mm -hmm. I mean, the first year, I just kind of sat in the corner. <laughs> I, I didn't know what was going on. These people were, you know, power brokers in the community. And I was like, whoa! I'm a little over my head. Second year, a little bit more engaged. Mm -hmm. Third year, I was kind of running. You know, the meeting a little mm -hmm. bit and, and really being involved. And that was cool. I mean, that was a real, you know, a good model to say, look, the board member was already going to go. You're not left, you know, saying, mm -hmm. hey, young person, go talk to that business <laughs> owner and ask them yeah. for money. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can kind of partner with someone that's already going to happen, mm -hmm. already going to be there. And, and frankly, it's hard to turn down young people. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what we found. We, we yeah. have found that if you have an educated young person mm -hmm. talking about the community, mm -hmm. I mean, sure. it's hard for a donor to turn that down. Yeah. I mean, so um, so that's the education piece. It's trying to, it's, how do you teach you, teach people, young people about the development? Mm -hmm. And then that second piece was the action piece. I got into that a little bit with that story. Mm -hmm. Is the action piece of how do you then turn around and engage young people in development mm -hmm. efforts? And this is hard. I would say we're getting better at the education piece. Um, educating young people about there's a different way to raise money out there. It's mm -hmm. this called, the world called development. Mm -hmm. um, but the action piece is a little more difficult. And, and I don't want to make any excuses at all, but the challenges of having um, young people that come on and off the, the yak very mm -hmm. frequently mm -hmm. makes that relationship mm -hmm. building piece tough. Mm -hmm. um, because development is not set up to be a one-time Mm -hmm. Hey, nice to yeah. meet you. Mm -hmm. Will you give us money? Yeah. Um, it makes it more difficult for yaks to be able to be there for that long term and see the fruits of their labor mm -hmm. of building a relationship. And you're constantly building a new relationship. Mm -hmm. um, so that has become difficult um, and, and a struggle and trying to figure out new ways. How do you engage young people in that development process? Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, it's still... A, a work in progress for us mm -hmm. is the action piece. But that one example is one one that I share that does happen where it's a partnership with a board member and a young person mm -hmm. and you can teach them. Another thing, another way that fund development, another activity that some YAGs are doing now, which I really like, um, is, and it was started from the Jackson Community Foundation and Chris Taylor is their YAC advisor there. And mm -hmm. This was um, her idea. She, um, after t t talking about fund development to her young people, gave them each, I think it's three, three envelopes. Um, and, and the deal was that the young person herself had to come back with a donation for those three, from mm -hmm. in each of those three envelopes. One of those envelopes was for, them, for themselves, so they individually. Mm -hmm. And the other two could be anyone, neighbors, friends, family members, mm -hmm. whoever. And so they actually had to come back. And it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It could be 50 cents. It could be $10. It could be $50, mm -hmm. $100, whatever it is. But it's coming back with three donations. Mm -hmm. And the cool part about that is, is it might not be a huge moneymaker per se, mm -hmm. but it, that's part of teaching young people what it feels yeah. like to go mm -hmm. out and make that ask. Yeah. Sure. And it's so cool. And I love how she adds in the... You have to give a donation mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a huge piece. You know, one of the things about coming back to that definition of philanthropy of time, talent, and mm -hmm. treasure mm -hmm. is if you can give yourself, I mean, honestly, a dollar, two dollars, ten dollars, whatever it can be, you're committed to the cause. And if you can go out, if you're going to go out and ask mm -hmm. someone for money, you better believe in the cause mm -hmm. enough to mm -hmm. have given something yourself. Because yeah, sure. um, mm -hmm. otherwise, you know, good luck asking someone else for money that to, to contribute to the yeah. cause. So I really love that activity. Um, and, and she's done that, and we've spread that now to other groups that are doing that. And they found it to be really effective. Mm -hmm. It's a nice way to say every year you're bringing in these individuals, and they've, they've done the ask. Um, and so I really like that activity. It's mm -hmm. not too threatening. I mean, three is a number that seems real reasonable. Um, and uh, so I really like that way as, a, as an action item to engage yeah. young people in fund development. So...